because you have not. Genesis chapter 22 verse 12. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you have fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. After many trials of Sarah and Abraham's faith, finally Sarah bore Abraham the son they were dreaming to have. What God's promise then to Abraham to become the father of many nations and have many descendants somehow became clear when Isaac was born. But God has another plan. He calls Abraham to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, his dream son and only son to test Abraham's faith and obedience. Imagine the indescribable sadness and dismay of Abraham hearing that call from God. If we are in the shoes of Abraham, what would be your response? But because Abraham believed that God is powerful enough to fulfill his promises, he responded without question. He knew that it didn't make any sense at all, yet he chose to rise above the test of faith and trust in the resurrecting power of God. Do not lay a hand on the boy or do, do anything to him. Abraham was fully convinced that what he was called to do is a serious matter. That no matter what it takes, he knew that God will not break his promise. He was ready to demonstrate his obedience and trust to God. He displayed his love towards God in that he was willing to put to death and offer to God the dearest treasure of his heart, his one and only son, Isaac. It was then that God called out to Abraham to stop. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham passed the test of obeying God's command. He would have said no, but he did not, for it was through his obedience, faith, and commitment that God would bless him and fulfill his promises to him. Abraham affirmed he feared God. He was affirmed with his mature faith. In the same way, God demonstrated his love towards us by giving his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. In John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He could have saved save himself. But he did not, for it was through his death on the cross that God was going to save the world. God affirmed that he loves us so very much that he could see his intention all along was to bless us more and deepen our faith. Therefore, be always in the position to believe that God is not a liar, but what he promised to us he will fulfill. God has a divine purpose for our lives, and He will for sure accomplish it in His own time. Psalm 138 verse 8 says, The Lord will fulfill His purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Do not withhold to give the best for God, but say with all the more understanding and conviction, the Lord will provide.